our first couple of days in the Bahamas were not so good for sailing because we don't have a death wish. Um, it just was really windy and stuff. So I went for my morning run today and I'm going to decide the island to check out the conditions and it's looking pretty flat. Crazy compared to yesterday with those big six, seven foot waves coming through here. Now we're on the lee side of the island. The wind switched around. And so it was still getting wind, but it's nice and calmly wave wise. Probably should go further out there. It's going to be really crazy. But we're going to just hug the shore and sail down to uh, Freeport. So we just checked out of the room. We got out of the gear, ready to go in the boat. We're going to have to push it away to get back in the water because the tide went down. There's a little bit of storm surge the other day too. They brought it extra high. So that'll take a while. And this place is kind of nice, but I don't know. It was, it was pretty expensive. They added a lot of extra fees on the room, so I wasn't really happy about that. And then our room the first night flooded, uh, and it was really frustrating because I was so ready to be dry, and then everything I had laid out on the floor just got completely wet. Um, so it's kind of annoying. Here's our mat, and we, we finally taped this together, so that should be cool. Uh, the gear's ready to go. We gotta push the boat out to the water. Ways to go, not too bad. I think we'll pivot it. So we sailed around the point there, and the water smoothed out a bit. Uh, now we're kind of on a V reach. I noticed our ability to point in the wind seems to be compromised, I think, because of only having one rudder. So we cleared the reef. It was really bizarre. There was these waves that were just like out of nowhere. I'm not sure if it was like a, a river going out there and it was going against the wind and current or something. Uh, but now I'm gonna try to work my way into shore to get into some less choppy water and maybe pull up on a beach to take a break. It's kind of chilly today. So here is our track. You can see we started off at the west end and we didn't make it very far. A little disappointing. I would have liked to make it at least down to this town over here. Uh, the wind was from the northeast, blowing us offshore, and uh, I think I think having the only one rudder is making it not very effective for going upwind. Because when it came to tack back into shore, we was just really frustrating, not very effective. Uh, so I need to get that rudder fixed. And we finally got back to land, but then it was just this rocky coral down there, like there was nothing the anchor could stick onto. It was just all rock. Uh, so we had to go back out, and then I finally found a beach. So I think we're gonna hang out here for a few days. Until uh, we get more favorable wind, because um, it's just not safe being a, if we're gonna get pushed out to sea again in this uh, cat without a jib and with, with only one rudder. This poor, this poor rudder snapped right off there. What's it made of? It's like plastic, I guess. With Let's, uh, we're gonna do our first hot meal because we're pretty cold. Jet boil? Jet boil. From hand? That one, that one goes on the can. Okay, we're gonna try these dehydrated camping meals. They... Whoa. Well, we got a whole lot of them. They're from Ready Wise. Ready Wise just Instagram sent me them. I think these are just snacks here, but some of these you put. What do you want? Lasagna or pasta alfreda or mac chili mac. How about lasagna? How about it? 
We almost couldn't figure out Zoe's uh, jet boil, but you had to turn the screw it in. It's crazy, crazy hard to get it to, to seal. This is the, the blue. It's, it's a knockoff, but it was cheaper. Now the magic happens. You should write it in liters also because this, the blue only works in liters. So I don't know if these two are compatible. Ooh, this has Mountain Summit sausage. It's my favorite kind of sausage. Oh, you definitely gotta stir it. Mm. <laughs> Mountain Summit sausage. Pretty good, look crunchy. Maybe we should have cooked it longer. <laughs> <clears throat> we made a napping tent out of an umbrella and a bug net. We got our tent set up and there's Wi-Fi at the resort over there and it's unlocked. Score. So I'm checking the weather. We might be able to leave tomorrow again and get down to Freeport. And I don't know, we don't need much, but be good to restock eventually and um, we're gonna like, go for a walk and check out this abandoned boat hobie's on the beach at 3 a.m the tide's gonna come up higher and i might have to like pull it up further i don't know we'll see so this boat came with the uh the easy side entrance feature <laughs> it's real easy to easy go in it doesn't smell like dead people does it no it doesn't smell anything no love, such a scavenge. Before we go today, we're gonna go for a snorkeling session. There's a reef out there, it looks kind of cool. Go, but the tide went out. And I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to make it over these these rocks. They're really shallow now. Shoot. We did make it over the rocks. We just had to push it. And now we're sailing. Steering with one rudder. Pretty difficult going to windward. Restock on some things. We were only, but we were not able to tack our way upwind very efficiently. And in two hours, we only made it two miles. And so we were not going to make it all the way to Freeport today. So I picked this beach here and I figured we'd just chill out and maybe, maybe we'd hike into town and get some more water. Um, this is actually nice because it's more remote. There's no like 
settlement here. Uh, there was like people that kept coming up to our beach before. And now we've got this one all to ourselves. We are now, we're now leaving Hobie and going on an adventure. We're not sure we're gonna, where we're gonna end up, but we'll be back eventually. All right, so we ended up in Freeport. We took the bus. What do you think of the bus? I love the bus. It was great. It was only like two dollars, and it say thank you anywhere. And, and it runs all the time. There it is. Everyone's really friendly. So friendly. We restocked on some groceries. We're gonna go to another grocery store now. We got and we went to an ATM. Take your SIM card. We got SIM card, BTC. It was like 50, 48 dollars, something like that. For 15 gigabytes. Three, 40 and 50 dollars. 15 gigabytes. That should be enough to upload small videos and. To, for a month, we got a month of service, so we can stay here for a while. We didn't get hit by a car. Yep. Now we're gonna go to the hardware store, and we're gonna do some research for materials to get a rudder. Everybody's so cool. I'm feeling like we just get a piece of wood. We walk around. Someone will drill some holes in it and help us cut it out in the shape of a rudder. We'll plop that thing on the Hobie Cat. Maybe some paint on there will be good to go. So we're developing a plan. Spirits are high. We got a bottle of uh, rum. Really later. Cheap. On the cheap. Yes, yeah, so and we got a lot of soda water and regular water and uh, some apples. Apples. All right, took our bus back to our random spot in the middle of the nowhere. Let's see if Hobie's still there in our tent. You tired? I'm hot. I'm hot. And hope everyone Kenobi is still here. Hope he looks fine. Uh, the wind's gonna shift more out of that direction. So I'm gonna, now that the tide is high, actually she was, she was on the, the sandbar out there when we left her. But now that the tide is high, I'm gonna drag her around. I think the safer part of the beach because there's less rocks. Otherwise she's gonna swing around and hit these big boulders over here. The downside though is when it's time to leave, we have to leave it at high tide so we can clear it. Otherwise, we'll just be stuck on the beach. So I'll do a little bit of research on the tide tables and, and plan that out, but feels good. I'm just gonna chill out for a day or two, wait for the wind to switch, more favorable conditions. We got, we got so much water now and uh, some booze and seltzers. Oh yeah. Everything dry in there? Mm-hmm. The no seams aren't getting me. Heck yeah. He's always trying baby oil to keep the no seams off. Sam's too proud to try it. I don't like being oily. I'm oily enough already. Yeah. Sam is repositioning the anchor. So hope he doesn't smash up against the rocks. Low tide. All right, we got our fire to keep the bugs away. We'll have to drift it here. What's for dinner, Zoe? It's a mystery. All our cam labels have worn away. Yay. What we got? Beans. Beans, all right. All right. Black beans, I think. Like my good old fashioned black beans. So I just went for a little night swim to cool myself off because I'm wearing all long, we're wearing all long sleeves. We've got our pants stuck, tucked into our tucks socks and all tucked in and the bug nets are kind of hot but it's worth it to get away from the no seams. I forgot we had these nets. They're working pretty good. Not very many are getting through. They're really bad right now. The fire helps a little bit but not much. Um, I think I'll sleep pretty good. Kind of kind of cooled off in the water first. And then of course we got the extra bug net in there too. They go right through the mesh in the tent though. That does nothing. You gotta have a really, you gotta get that fine mesh folks. No seams. Ah. 
everywhere. They're dead. Huh. Not all of them, though. I found this piece of wood. We went for a walk. We found a five gallon bucket and a nice rope. Huh. And this piece of wood. And this wood might make a good rudder. It's about the right size. I'm gonna pull off these, uh, these screws. Maybe we can use these screws for something. We got those blocks removed, and this looks just about the right size. I guess it's the width that's the most important now. Uh, We're going for a walk on the beach. To the Wi Fi. And just for fun. It's kind of rough out there today, but hopefully tomorrow morning early the wind will move a little bit more offshore and we can kind of do on a close reach down to Freeport. All right, we're under Gus Buster's umbrella. Gus the Buster. Gus, Gus, Gus Buster, Buster Gus himself sent me this umbrella. It's, we're definitely beating Bust in the Gus. And providing shade. What do you think about chicken alfredo? Um, the chicken alfredo was not so good. The noodles were watery. Watery. The noodles, noodles were okay. The chicken was crunchy okay. at best. And we followed the instructions real good in this one. So, so we're, we're giving it another chance. We're five out of ten. Four. To be honest, like, all right, two out of ten. Two out of ten. But we're gonna give our feedback, and they're gonna make it better, I'm sure. All right, now try the, the next one. Will be. That's a high bar. There's a lot of good chili macs out of there between the cans of chili macs, Mary Jane's chili mac with no meat. Everybody has one. Uh, all the brands I got chili mac. Chili macs, you gotta have a good chili mac. It, it tasted real good, but I licked the spoon off. So I think we're, we're gonna be in better territory than chicken off right now. That looks good. We pre-stirred it too. It's, I'm not feeling, feeling good about it. About the chili mac? No. But you were really excited about it. We put less water in it. I'm really excited about it, but then I tasted the chicken off front of it. When I eat them, they need to step up their game. Yeah, the thing is, it's hard to justify these on a boat because you have to bring the water usually anyway. So, so it's a lot of, and then anything. you have to discard the trash. Yeah, and then you just, it's a lot. It's, it's a lot of trash. You don't have to clean the only, the only advantage is you don't have to clean the jet water. Chili mac. Maybe we should have used more water. Yeah, the consistency is. It's so hard to get. Chunky. The other one was so watery. We hardly. It's about the same amount. But is, it, is it still chewy? It's like um five out of ten. Five out of ten. Better than that one, I guess. Zoe decided she likes the water, so she's going out to live in the water. I'm building a teepee, and we're going to hang the mosquito net from it. The tent is full of no steams. It's in the, in the woods now. This teepee is pretty good though. So there's our new sleeping setup. Pretty happy with that. I think it'll keep the bugs out better and stay cool. And then tomorrow, we sail that way. If I get the fire going, I might do another swim after sunset. It was supposed to be the best day for sailing. It still doesn't look very good for getting out of here. Um, it was fun at first. We are getting just eaten up by bugs every night. And uh, I might call it pretty soon. This is kind of sucks having a boat that you can't really push through.
Teriyaki, chicken, and rice. Very sweet, yeah, very odd. Positive, very odd. it's food. Okay, and the mac and cheese? Positive, it's cheesy. Negative, a little flavorless. Yeah, it got, it got, it got, it's got a consistency though, it turned Yeah, it doesn't have cheesy. like the um, cheese ball burst in it. But it just doesn't taste very tasty. It's not very tasty. Especially for Overall, all that. Overall, I give it, um, uh, 2.5 out of 10. Okay. And the same thing with that? This one, I hate to say it, but like a 1.5 out of 10 maybe? Yeah. Okay. I'm not going to argue with you either. Sorry, Ridgewise. Maybe if you like hiked 20 miles at the top of a mountain, it would taste better. Yeah, you'd really want to hurry up and do that. Yeah. Alright, let's go to the next one. Okay. Alright, so we're going to the next one. Alright, let's go 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 to so we're gonna do a comparison. This is her Tuscan white bean soup from back in January. Yeah, she's kind of been doing it kind of for me, I guess. For you, or just like for fun? I think just probably both. She makes her own yogurt. Yeah, it's pretty good. That looks actually pretty good. It looks big. It, it, really really it looks better than the stuff in the pouch, I'll be honest. Let's try it by itself. Yeah, it's kind of like a some spinach in there too. Bug bites on the back of my neck. Uh, I seem to say you have a lot, Sammy. Oh no. Oh my gosh. If only we could show you your butt. Oh, right. So I pulled Hobie uh, as far out of the water as I could this morning. And we got it kind of uh, wrapped up uh, for, for a while. Uh, I tied her to Get her anchored, tied to a couple of mangroves. I know an acquaintance, so I was really interested in like sailing a Hobie cat in the Bahamas, so I might just uh, let him come down here and take it from there. Uh, we've taken all the gear um, this, that I wanted to keep, and uh, we left a nice little setup. So we might come back, we might have someone else come back. Carry on. It's just I don't really want to wait here for weather to turn around and. Uh, so this is a piece of teak, I think, that we kind of, we're going to use to make a new rudder. I think you can bring that to town and find someone with a saw and a drill and they can help you do that. You got a bean bag and a mat, and you need to poke a few holes in this to make a drain there. So you got a tent there, there's a bunch of like bedding, sleeping bag, you got some fuel, some uh, canned food, and some dehydrated meals. It's always clothes she didn't want. A snorkel mask, a little bit of rum, bug net, sunscreen, lights for the boat, needle tape, flares, some extra shackles, heavier. Um, you got zip ties, a few trash bags, toilet paper, a book to read, some, some gorilla tape. Bins are awesome, super waterproof. Yeah, so like lots of warm bedding, you got a pillow, dehydrated meals. It's my mom's, these soups are pretty good that mom made. Uh, you got some gas, isobutane, probably some more stuff in there. They, they saved us, we were on the side of the road. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta stay pulled. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we thank you for a ride, guys. Yeah, thank right. you. <laughs> we're doing some food truck sushi with uh, 
fried chicken pineapple sushi. I've never had chicken and, and sushi, but it, it actually goes pretty good. And like a salmon. Yeah. That was the only thing on the menu that seemed like normal sushi. That, that's not too bad actually. It's good. Very good. Pineapple. So we're running a car to go to the uh, national park on the other end of the island. And it's a left-hand drive car, so that's normal. But I also have to drive on the left side of the road here, so I'm gonna try to stay on the left side of the road. <laughs> stay left, stay left. Stay left. You, you must, must keep, keep left. left. <laughs> Now we're at the Lakaya National Park and we're gonna find some caves and there's a beach here. Okay, we're gonna do some sea turtle gazing, some fish gazing, and the poison wood gazing, among other things. Tree. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh look, there's a whole little thing in here. It's a whole thing. It's a whole ecosystem. What we didn't mention is we're also doing some bone gazing. There are haunted ghost bones here. Whoa. Ooh. Ooh. My back's in. So after spending four days, five days stranded on our beach, we decided to pay $12 each to come to another another beach. Can't get enough. Can't because we just can't get enough of the beach. Oh, it's so much beachier than our other our beach. More beach. More beach than you can ever beach. Whoa trees! Whoa! It's so tight! So tight! Whoa! Bounce, 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 bounce! <laughs> We're climbing the tree, man! Oh, look at those snails! That sounds bang. Snails! So, I think I'm gonna really hold on to this driving on the other side of the road and take it to the States. Take this on straight. With me. I think they'll appreciate it. <laughs> A little bit more laid back. So we took the smallest possible boat to the Bahamas and we're gonna take the biggest, biggest boat on the way back. <laughs> Whoa. We're moving. It's on the channel. arrived in Miami, or West Palm Beach actually. So thanks for watching. As you saw, we did leave the Hobie in the Bahamas uh, and took a cruise back that ended up being the cheapest way to get home. Um, if you are interested in going on a Hobie adventure through the Bahamas, let me know. Uh, and I'll give you the coordinates. Uh, you just need a new rudder pretty much. Um, and we were really hoping to sail out to the Avicos Islands. Zoe's, Zoe's father had some land there. Maybe we were going to leave the boat there. Uh, so if anyone else wants to do that, let me know. Um, in the next video, I'm going to do an interview with uh, Matt Rutherford. I actually filmed that a few weeks ago. Uh, a really cool offshore sailor up in Maryland. And then after that, some company's been sending me like some free paddle boards and e-bikes. I got to do some videos kind of to fulfill those obligations. 
So I'll see you guys in those videos. And then, and then I got my flight back to Sweden on May the 4th. So that boat, I mean, pickled herring should be pretty much ready to go back in the water. Just a few repairs. I got to, got to do a new cutlass bearing and a few other little minor things. Uh, so then I'll be back in Europe. That's a cool stuff to see over there. Um, yeah, in the meantime, try not to buy any more boats until then. <laughs> uh, I kind of want to try out like some maybe kiteboarding or that, that wing foiling stuff. So I'll see if I can scavenge together enough pieces to put that together. But until then, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.